Hello, everybody, and welcome to the December DAW meeting. It is December, end of the year. We made it through 2020. Oh boy, I've got my official Santa Jeff hat on. And for those who don't like Christmas, I've got my Bah Humbug hat on. So, whatever you want, I can go either way. I used to wear this at work, but I heard it made it super Christmassy crazy. And she just was nauseating, so I got this bah humbug hat over crazy. So, anyways, we got a lot to get done today. Uh, it's going to be a fun meeting. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the party we normally have, and I really miss that. And uh, so, hopefully, next year we'll be able to get back to having our Christmas party in December. So, we'll do some a little different, but it's going to be more like our, um, our, our, our regular meeting with a few highlights. Uh, it's if you haven't done so, please mute your microphones because we're hearing some background noise. How about if I just mute everyone and unmute you? That would be good. Thank you. Thanks, Chuck. There we go. Can you hear me okay? Shake your heads. Okay, good. So what we're going to do today is, of course, we've got uh, the great demo by Carl, um, Carl Jacobson. Um, our President's Challenge has been renamed to the Christmas Challenge, and the big difference there is we're going to give away more than one certificate. Um, so uh, we'll cover that when we get to it. Um, we also have something that we haven't talked about. We've kind of kept it hush-hush, but uh, since it's December, we're going to be giving away the Member of the Year Award. Um, which is going to be a lot of fun. And of course, uh, we are raffling off the John Jordan Halloween system. We sold enough tickets. Um, so thank you, everybody that came in at the last minute and bought tickets. I wish everybody the best of luck on that. Uh, then, of course, the Facebook challenge and show and tell. Uh, let's see here. Okay, first thing I want to start off with is uh, a few comments from me. Uh, we're sitting here at December, and I was thinking back the other day to March when we had four days to put this together on Zoom uh, because of the shutdown, and uh, I was kind of in a panic, and uh, luckily we have two people in our club that are just experts at this stuff, whether they want to admit it or not, and that's Chuck Globato and Matt Harbor, and those two guys got us together, got us ready so that four days later we could have our general membership meeting in March. And uh, I was terrified going into it. I had no idea what to expect. Uh, and we had 65 people show up, which is, <laughs> just blew me away. And we have done everything in our power, uh, myself and the board, to make this as much like a regular meeting as possible and to keep the club as viable as possible. And uh, I wanna take this moment to thank the board for being such a great board and helping me out. And uh, also to all the members who have been part of this throughout the year. Uh, thank you for hanging in with us. Uh, thank you for your contributions and um, helping us to make this a viable working club, uh, even though it's all on Zoom. So it has been a insane year. It's been a depressive year, but at the same time, it's been a bit of an exciting year because we have done things that we've never done in our club. Uh, I, when I first joined the Detroit Area Woodturners, I never would have thought about doing anything on the computer, even though I came from an IT background. But here we are. Here we are. We're at the point where, you know, when this whole pandemic mess is over with and we're meeting face to face, we're still going to broadcast on Zoom because it works so well. So members who aren't feeling good can still come to the meetings. So thank you, everybody. Um, and being my first year as president and only having one face to face meeting with you. It's not the way I wanted to do it. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody face to face again next year at whatever point they allow us to do that. So, um, and that's really all I got to say to that. Um, it's membership renewal time. I've been saying this every meeting and in my uh, Facebook postings and everything. Uh, we've made it real easy by, by providing uh, PayPal links so you can easily click on the link and uh, up your dues for either single membership or family membership. Uh, we've had some new members join the club who chose to join that way. However, we don't have a lot of information on it. So if you're a new member 
and you join by using our, our PayPal links, please go to our website, DetroitAreaWoodTurners.com, click on the Inf Club Info tab, and download the membership application. Fill it out and send it to Cindy Yates, and she will be able to get our databases updated, and that's, that's how we keep you informed of everything that's going on. Um, Jeff, and, Sorry. Did can, I make that membership app, can I make that membership application a Google form? Uh, yeah, if you can do that, go for it. Take me 10 minutes. Okay, cool. Um, and I want to say thank you to all the members that jumped on board and used that link because it uh, we have the fastest and largest renewal turnaround that we've had in a long time. Um, so if you haven't done it yet, get your renewal in. If you're not comfortable with PayPal, uh, send the membership application filled out along with a check to Cindy, just like you've always done. Just get it in um, because after the first of the year, we changed the password for the members only area and um, you may not get in, uh, notices of uh, special member events. So get your renewal in. Uh, <clears throat> for those of you who didn't attend it, uh, after last uh, month's meeting, a week, a week later, we did the uh, workshop where we had a week to watch a Raleigh Lockhart Leaf Bowl video that he did from the, um, uh, I think it was the Worldwide Woodturner Symposium. And uh, you had a week to watch that. And then we all got together in our shops and went live. And for two hours, we turned uh, the leaf bowls. And if you've seen Facebook, there's been some incredible videos or some incredible uh, bowls come out of that. And I want to give a great big thank you for, to Paul Newberger for putting that together. Uh, it's been a hugely successful thing and we're going to do it again. Uh, and thank you, Paul, for your help on that. And thank you for bringing that to my attention. Well, it's a great idea. And we're always looking for new ideas like that too. So if you've got an idea for something you want to do in a workshop, let me know or let one of the board members know. We'll talk about it and if it's something that's viable, we'll make it happen. Uh, as always, we're looking for people to do demos and workshops for 2021. Um, our meeting demos are booked through January. Uh, we have nobody booked for workshops yet. I know a lot of people are nervous about uh, um, not having the right equipment or anything. And as you've seen in some of our demos, all you need is a phone. Um, Ian did it with a phone. Paul Newberger did it with a phone. Uh, it's, it's not hard. Uh, Chuck Lobato has offered to bring the camera equipment out and do all the camera work for you. So all you have to do is concentrate on what you're doing. Uh, now, I know with COVID, some people are uneasy about having people into their homes or they're uneasy about going to other people's shops or so on. Uh, I fully understand that. But uh, let us know if you're interested in doing a demo and we'll see what we can work out for you. I am also talking with PCAC about uh, using the workshop to film um, or broadcast a demo from there for anybody who would be interested in doing a demo and don't, don't feel comfortable about going to another shop. Um, that way you're totally social distance, you and your, you and one other person will be in the shops doing the uh, video, and uh, maybe we can get you interested in doing it that way. Uh, so I'll let you know what I find out from that. She's taking that to the, uh, the board of the PCAC. Um, hey, Chuck, I just, got a, um, I just got a text from John Marine. He's still in the waiting room waiting to get in. Um, I'm so letting him in. If, if So if, if you're interested in doing that and just hesitant to, to, to make that step, you know, let me know or let one of the board members know. We really like to have members doing demos again and don't let the technology scare you. We've got ways around that. We, we've learned a lot in this year. Um, the Allen Stratton Ornament Challenge. <laughs> I don't know what the final count was, but I, uh, I want to thank everybody who submitted an ornament to the challenge and made sure they put in the application that was from the Detroit area wood turners. Uh, we're hoping we had enough in there to get a free uh, demo from Alan. Uh, that would be great. Uh, now the point of time that you have to turn your ornament in is past due. It's in voting right now until the 15th. So if you haven't done so, go to ornamentchallenge.com and vote for your five favorite ornaments. And um, 
as soon as uh, we get past that date, then Alan will post a video naming the winner. And hopefully he'll, he'll name the, the winner of the turning club also. So if you haven't done that, please get out there and vote. Um, I don't know how you pick five favorites. I, I, I spend 30 minutes looking at that video. And uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll figure out five. So, um, so that's really the announcements I have. Does anybody have any announcements we, uh, they want to make about anything with the club before we get started? Okay, then. Excuse me. I'm going to ask. Please, yeah. don't, please don't change the password. I cannot remember new passwords. Well, I understand that. But it's something that we have to do to protect the people that are paying. And we'll help you. Don't worry. You know, there's always going to be somebody who can help you with that. All right. Thank you. I understand. I'm the same way. I have, I have a little password app on my phone. That I keep all my passwords because I got like 60 different passwords. Um, I can't remember them all. So, anything else? <clears throat> okay, well, I got through my announcements a lot faster than I expected to. Let me take a quick look here, see if I missed anything. I did not. So, we come to the part that everybody uh, has been waiting for. We're going to do all the regular club stuff after the demo. Uh, I wanted uh, Carl to get up here and uh, be able to uh, get going on this. And uh, so, Carl, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, let me find you. <laughs> uh, can everybody see me okay? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, now for some fun, uh, more fun stuff. Um, it's uh, actually a very important thing right now, and that's the elections. Uh, we had our elections last month. And uh, there is not a great big turnover in the board. I will continue being the president for the next year, and many of our board members are still there. Uh, the only big change you're going to see is Cindy Yates and Mark Wallace are going to switch positions. So Cindy will become the first vice president, and Mark will become the membership chairperson. Um, so real quickly, does anybody have any problems with that? <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Nobody was beating down my door for a position, so <laughs> uh, I do want to say that um, oh, and Dave Meyer will no longer be on the board as our librarian. Uh, Ed Winkle, is it Wilke Meyer? I believe it is, will be taken over as librarian. He won't have a lot to do until we get back into the PCAC. Um, also, Paul Newberger and John George, John George are not returning to their positions. Uh, so if anybody's interested in being a video setup person at our meetings when we get back to PCAC, or if anybody's interested in handling um, the catering and stuff for any special events we may have, it's nothing uh, you're going to have to do anything with right away. But if you're interested, let me know, and uh, we can get you assigned. So that's the big changes for this year in the elections. Anybody got any questions on that? Okay. Where's Matt Harbor at? I don't see him. Do we lose Matt? Um, his uh, shop is still there, but he's not. Yeah. He probably wanted the house to get warm. <laughs> we'll come back to him. Maybe he doesn't have a bathroom in the shop. Ah. <laughs> okay, anybody got any tools to review? No tools this month? Evidently not. I've actually bought a bunch of tools this last month. I'm not sure if you guys need to see them though. I bought a electric uh, battery upgrade uh, chainsaw. Real Basically, quickly, who is this? To, uh, to uh, trim stuff off on the lathe if I have to. Um, that's Jay Penfill. Jay? That's Jay okay. Penfill, that's me. I'm looking for you, Jay, so I can highlight you. I got him. Oh, okay. You do? Okay. Yeah. Here, Here I he is. is. There you go. I'm out to the garage for you. So, I picked up this uh, portable chainsaw, this little uh, electric chainsaw from DeWalt. 
And if you're working on the lathe, you got something big you got to trim down. This makes it really easy. Let me turn this around for you. There we go. So this little guy, 20 amp, uh, amp battery, trims real nicely. Oh, sweet. And uh, take up a new uh, helmet, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen already. <clears throat> little trends. Oh, yeah, I've, I've got one of those. It actually Good. looks real nice, but I find it very, very back heavy. But if I look back for a second, a lot of weight there. They take some getting used to. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's all for tools. I'll come back when it's time for show and tell. Okay. Oh. Uh, Chuck, are you here? I am. Do you have a way to uh, um, page or text uh, Matt? Um, I don't have do a number. No, I, don't I, do. Do. No, wait, I do. Hold on. I'll do it. Okay. Tell them to get to the shop. We miss them. Any other tools? Okay. I'm trying to think. I don't have any new tools myself. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm starting to spend some time learning the tools I've had for a couple of years and just never used them. Wait till next month after Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have a two hour tool review now. That'll can, be our Saturday I... workshop. <laughs> can I show you a new tool? <clears throat> sure. Who is this? Carl. Okay, let's find yeah. Carl and spotlight you. All right. Yeah. Where'd he go? There he is. Right here. I'm back. I got it. So oh, there he is. I don't know. If anybody out there remembers a Christmas ornament when I, I started it with Alan years ago, there was a kid on there that made a lay that on a, with a cordless drill and a sawhorse. Um, and he, he, uh, it was just amazing. His ingenuity and everything. Anyway, he's all grown up now. And he won Youth Turner of the Year two years in a row. And he, he, yeah. you keep an eye on this kid. He just made this. It's called an Iris Steady Rest. They all move together. It's he's manufacturing these things. Hmm. If you're doing small stuff like wine goblets, you can take two of the wheels out, and these two wheels actually come together. You just pull on the little handle there; they open up. It's putting even pressure around the whole thing. Oh wow! Yeah, he started a tool company, and he, he's a smart kid. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he does a lot of segmented stuff, big vases and things like that. But, yeah, this is, like, super slick. Wow. How much was it, Carl? I think it was 350 Hey, Jeff? Yes. I just talked to Matt, and he's getting his hair cut in another room of the house. Oh. <laughs> he's, he'll be out in, like, 15 minutes. Okay, well, well, we will come back to him. <laughs> he doesn't have any here. Why didn't he take the camera in with him? Yeah. I don't know if he we... wanted me to tell all that information, but I don't care. <laughs> he just wanted to look pretty for Carl before he left. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Bob, how you doing, Bob? To do that before the meeting? Doing all right. Hey, Carl, yeah. tell your wife Robin the crazy saber tooth guy's here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I will. Anybody oh. else got a tool? Okay, then. Well, then, why don't we, since we are just talking about tools, guess what? We're going to do a tool raffle. We've sold ah. enough tickets. Ah. Yeah. Uh, thank you to all the last-minute people who came in and bought tickets. Uh, I really wanted to give this away uh, at, the, uh, at this particular meeting. Let me uh, do a share screen real quick. Oh, there it is. The glide pass giving me a hard time. There we go. 
That is the tool system we're giving away. It's the John Jordan Halloween system. Uh, really nice system. And um, we had sold a total of 48 tickets. Now, I am a ticket holder myself. So what I thought I'd do is if anybody, and I'm going by iPhones because that's all I know. Does anybody out there have an iPhone that they can ask Siri to pick a number between 1 and 48 and tell us what it is? Anybody? I'll do it. Huh? I just asked Siri to do that. Okay. Siri, pick a number between 1 and 48. <laughs> I just did it. Have we got a number? Can we spotlight who's doing that? So I just did it. I came up with 14. Siri did, rather. Siri came up with 14? Yes. John Scarcella. John Scarcella has won the system. Good for him. Yeah. He's a, very he's a boat maker. He doesn't need that. Yeah. What is, <laughs> he's out making his boat today. I'm watching the picture. He bought a ticket. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, yeah, he bought a ticket, so he has the right to it. Okay. So let me get back to uh, okay. Let me get cancel this. Stop share. There we go. Okay. Tool raffle is done. Facebook challenge. We had thirty two people post items on Facebook this month. So I will use my random picker and come up with a, uh, a winner for that one. And that winner will get a certificate for Craft Supply. Jeff, Jeff you're still spotlighted on Carl. I am because I'm showing me. I'm showing him too. I don't see him. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. So Okay, so my, my randomizer is set to pick a no, random number between 1 and 32. Here we go. The number is 3, and that's Mike Foydell. Mike, you've won a certificate to craft supply. Well, let me write that down so I don't forget it. Mike did some nice, uh, nice bowls, too. Yeah, yeah. Number. Um, I made a mistake. Mike Foydell is not number. Oh, Ooh. number three. Why was I thinking fourteen? Mike Foydell is the winner. Sir. Okay, and uh, we're still waiting on Matt. So that brings us to. The President's Christmas Challenge, and I'm, here's what we're going to do for that. Since we're not meeting face-to-face -face and we can't walk around and vote on these like we normally do, I'm going to show you all the images that came in, and then we're going to do it using the randomizer. However, we're going to pick five winners instead of just one. How does that sound? Sweet. So, Great. Um, we have got quite a few entrance. I don't want more than three wins on this. <laughs> well, you can only win one certificate. Whoa. Oh, well. <laughs> I know. Okay, so I got to get rid of something here. There we go. <coughs> This is uh, Alfred's. Nice. It's another one of Alfred's. 
Alfred was into birdhouses this year. Uh, this is Alfred. And by the way, numerous people send in more than one image, which is perfectly fine because that's, you know, that's how it was when we did, our, did it face to face. Um, that's Alfred. Alfred. Some really, really cool stuff. Alfred. Yeah. Alfred. I wonder if that's the prize at the top. <laughs> Alfred. I think that's how many he's made. Oh, it could be. It could wow. be. Sure. <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> Alfred. This is Ben. Ben Shipman. Oh. Isn't that cool? Bruce Groth. I hope I pronounced that name right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Dave Meyer. Don Faulkner. Ed Wilkie Meyer. Glenn McCullough. His salute to RGB. Or RBG, I mean. The great. Glenn McCullough. Henry Morgan. Kind of looks like Henry, doesn't it? <laughs> Self-portrait. <laughs> John Dizel. Kathleen Gardner. Nice. Kathleen Gardner. She discovered giant glitter. <laughs> Kathleen Gardner. Yeah, I have giant glitter all nice. over my house, even out on my deck now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so glitter is always a mess. Giant glitter is always a giant mess. <laughs> Kathleen Gardner. I love this one. This is really cool. Yeah. Kathleen Gardner. That's the backsides of them. What was that? Yeah. That's the backsides of them. Oh, okay. In their pajamas. Kathleen. Mark Wallace. The way he's got him strung looks almost like it's a light set, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Matt Harbor. Nice. Wherever he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he left that natural piece in there on purpose. Mike Foydell. Uh, this is Mike Foydell. Mike Lanham. Mike Lenaway, Paul Newberger, Paul Zirkel, Phil Stevens, and that actually has LEDs in it that flash. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty wow. cool looking. I think he had the yeah he had the video out on Facebook. So if you get a chance to look that up, look it up. It's really cool. Yeah, the video makes all the difference. Yeah. Uh, Richard Megnick. Richard also. Ron Pullman. Russell, Man is it Manasse or Manise? Manasse. Manasse. Okay, thank you. Russell again. Nice segmenting. Thank you. Uh, Russell again. Sandra Doran. Sandra Doran. Steve Rohr. And that is it. So it looks like, and I've noticed this throughout YouTube and everything too, it seems like the hot topics this year for ornaments were uh, gnomes and birdhouses. I mean, more than I've ever seen. It's wild. So we're going to pick five winners, and we had it. So we had a, of all those images, we had a total of twenty-three people uh, submit images. So I'm going to set this for random pick from one to twenty-three, and the first winner, number seventeen, is Paul Newberger.
Second winner. You know what? Let me get back to my full image. Okay. Second winner. Number 10. Richard Megnick. My Sharpie is running out of ink. Um, third, number 12, Matt Harbor. He's not here. Should he get one? <laughs> <laughs> got to pay for that haircut. Yeah. <laughs> you got to cut his hair first. See, that's the problem with certificates. You get his $10 certificate and you end up spending $200. Okay, number four is 14, that's Don Faulkner. Uh, and then the, let's see, one, two, three, four. The final one, number 20, is Alfred Chambry. Yeah, that's that is our five winners. Congratulations on that. And great work, everybody. Uh, very inspirational to see all that. Um, and that's what I love about you guys. Uh, you just always come through with great stuff. You know, and whether you like to admit it or not, you're all artists. That's all there is to it. So um, that's it for the Facebook challenge and for the uh, uh, President's Christmas challenge. Any questions on any of that? Okay. Nope. While we're waiting on Matt, why don't we do show and tell? <laughs> we're running out of things to do while we're waiting for Matt. I'll go first. Um, I posted an image on um, say on our Facebook page saying time to turn, and it showed my lathe with the uh, Jameson rig all set up and everything. This was the final product, uh, my first vase. Uh, came out pretty nice. It's uh, made out of Catulpa that I got from Dave Meyer a couple years ago, and it was about as dry as dry could be. Uh, it turned it's off. Dry, like, it's dry wood when it's wet. <laughs> yeah. It really is. It was. It was literally. I had powder on the floor. There wasn't many shades, yes. uh, but it makes it very easy to sand too. So yes. uh, the finish on it, I did a, a the axe system, and then I buffed it with the BL. However, I didn't <laughs> use the triple E from BL. Because it's such open grain, I didn't want that red to get in there and get stuck. So I just did the white diamond and the carnauba wax. Uh, inside is sanded down to, see if I can get light in it, sanded down to 400. Uh, came out very nice. And I went down in there with axe as far as I could reach from my finger. So my first face. So I had a lot of fun with very it. Very nice. Thank you. Who else has got something? I do. Paul. Okay, let's find them. I'm uh, hidden. I, all you see is the, the artwork, I think, from the background. Okay, what was the name again? Paul Newberger. Oh, okay, Paul. There you are. Didn't sound like you. Okay, let's... No, it didn't. Spotlight you. Well, you'll spotlight me, but all you're going to get is the... There you go. I don't see it. So that was the, the 15 spheres. They were held together with dowel pins. Uh, one of the pieces, again, it's in my virtual background, so uh, one of the pieces has got a hundred and some pieces of wood in it. In it. Uh, the one that keeps on getting covered up, that's about 200 and some pieces that are glued together. Um, it was just a hoot to do, and, a lot, and I'm going to keep adding to it. One of the things I've done with it is I made one where I did a family tree, and um, I can keep adding children to the family tree uh, for this family. So, oh, cool. That's cool. Very nice. That's lots cool. of fun. And they're all hollow. Oh, wow. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Anyone else? It sounds like Paul is I got something. And who is that? Ben Shipman. Who? Ben Shipman. Ben. Okay, let's find him. Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay. See if it'll focus. Eh, hold on. Let me let me switch my light. Yeah, 
That's better. <laughs> there. Maybe that'll work. Uh, oh, cool. How are you going to focus? Uh, yeah, it's not going to focus very well. I turned this uh, yesterday because it was warm out so I could get in the garage. Um, I cast it this summer. Uh, it's just a piece of maple. It had um, color shifting um, spray paint on the burl inside, but the resin kind of ate away at it. So it's sort of floating in the, uh, up in the resin. So it didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to, but cool. I still like it. I think it looks great. Yeah, yeah. it really does. Very nice. Cool. I wish it would focus better, but oh well. Well, we can see we can see what it is. Anybody else? Yeah, this is Cindy. I got something. Okay, Cindy, let's find you. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> You're not Cindy. No, we're is no Ben is on. Cindy's video is off, according to my. Well, hang on a minute. Let me look. Yeah, I can't spot later. It should be on now, is it? I can see it. There she is. All right. Okay, well, um, I really couldn't turn this year because of my knee replacement. So I just made some carving modifications to last year's platter. So, um, oh, yeah. That's my platter from last year that I went in and changed and repainted it, add a little bit more texture. That's beautiful. Now, is the, black, is the black a paint or a dye, or is that charring? That's, well, I took a tool and did some heavy engraving, I don't know if you can see it, uh -huh. yeah. with a blunt, and then I um, painted it with uh, acrylic, black acrylic. Okay. And then I turned these, these little red things, uh, the berries, I turned them individually and then put them on. Oh, okay. So, it's a beautiful piece, Cindy. Thanks. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah, Mike okay. Lenaway. I've got a. Uh, okay, Mike. Let's find you. There he is. I've got a little platter. I did. Oops. My fingers are in the way. Sorry. <laughs> and I know. I see it keeps fading out. I don't understand. That's the virtual background. You got a very limited space. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I did a little platter. Uh, I got this Otor laser and I burned into it. I'm very pleased with the way it came out. Nice. Yeah. You know, I remember seeing my that on Facebook and it looked a lot bigger on Facebook. Uh, my, it, yeah. those, are those the, patterns that come with? The laser or those ones you designed? Those are uh, uh, clip art uh, GIFs or, or uh, JPEGs that I got and put in there. Okay. Thank uh, you. I really like the ability to be able to take any picture and uh, convert it into uh, vectors that I can put into the, uh, the laser. Very nice. I did some of my uh, granddaughter and her best friend, the dog, and I, I'm really pleased with the way they came out. You can recognize both her and the dog. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. You can get shading in there and everything. Yeah. Wild. Well, thank you very much. Anybody else? I. I have Jeff. Okay, let's find you. I don't know if I'm gonna go in and out, but there you this are. This is my. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you. You went out again. That's yeah, going in and out. Well, I can talk about it. <laughs> it's my it's my computer. I don't know what it is. But you you can highlight it. My Christmas challenge, and I, I can talk about it. If you can do that. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh, 
There it is. Yeah, Go back one. Went right by. There it is. Okay. That was, this is my third attempt at doing this. The first two attempts, I tried using a Merlin, and it just chewed it up to hell because I hollowed it out first, and then I ended up doing the cuts. And the third attempt, after talking to Matt Harbour, and we talked about it, I ended up hollowing it out first, and then taking my um, vibrating tool, and I cut it out by, you know, very slowly, <laughs> and it turned out a lot nicer and a lot easier. And then I used uh, box out the globe is black walnut, and I used for the finials, I used box elder with the red in it for Christmas. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice piece of work. Yeah. Okay, anybody else? Yeah, I've got something to show. Okay. I'm Jim Stromer. I've been new at it, and I've been taking some classes from Paul Zirkel, actually. Uh, but Paul talked me through the process, and I have been making some uh, carbide tool lathe handles. Oh. I decided to make all three of them. This is a badan. So I've decided to make all three of the handles having a totally different uh, shape as well as a different, uh, a little bit different color to it so that I can tell at a glance which one's which. I'm just putting the epoxy to cure so I can give them a try this maybe this coming week. Yeah, nice handles. I actually, well done. I actually they had a were, relatively they were lots of fun. They're all solid oak. Yeah. I actually had a newer turner come to me one time and said, where do you get handles for your tools? I goes, you got a lathe? <laughs> and I showed him how to turn handles. You know? Well, when I bought the carbides, the guy told me you can you can make the make the shaft and then use it to uh, uh, mount the carbide and use it to turn the handle. And Paul says, no, it's not long enough. So I use some three quarter inch uh, black iron water pipe scraps and wedged a piece wedged a piece of metal handle in there. And said that's a strong handle. <laughs> Ugly, but it worked. Yeah. Very nice work. Thank you. Thank you. So you work with Paul Zirkel? Yes. I'm going to give Paul a piece of material for you so you can make another handle. It's called Jara. I just gave a piece. Another friend of mine made a handle out of it. He loved it. I'm going to give you a piece of that. I'll give it to Paul, and Paul will give it to you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Glenn McCullough. Okay, that's fine, Glenn. There he is. I... Um... I got a hold of an eight foot board by uh, 13 feet of some uh, figured curly ambrosia maple. And um, this is the first platter from the board. Wow. Uh, 12 inches. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting some different shapes and, and uh, styles from this. But uh, it's a, just a beautiful board. It was worth the money. Yeah. But, uh, can't wait to uh, turn some more of these. How thick was it when you started out? <laughs> All right. Yeah, very happy with it. How thick was it when you started out? Pardon me? How thick was the board when you started out? Uh, two inches. Two inches? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, thanks. Very nice. Anybody else? Anybody got anything for show and tell? Then. Well, we don't have Matt back yet. That's the longest haircut ever. Nope. His hair must be long. <laughs> Is haircut a euphemism? Both of them. He could have left the ski cap on. We never would have been the wiser. Yeah. <laughs> At least we know he didn't freeze to death. <laughs> yeah. And his garage door's open by the look of it. Ah. Well, I don't know what to do. Should I just do the... Cover this without him? You want me to call him again? Yeah, call him. Please. Tell him we absolutely have to have that, it. That or it do it to. next month. Will you let her in? Yes, I will. Hi there, demanding you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's um, Jeff is, um, has been asking for you. I don't know what's going on. 
There's a lot of question about how long your hair is. I don't think he... Probably the same thing. I don't think he had that much hair to start with. Call for him, yes. Yeah. They're probably looking, looking for it. Waiting for you. Bye. I think he's going to call you, Jeff. Okay. Not answering. <laughs> he's got Glenn calling him. Yeah, he's not answering. I won't tell him what it's about. Hey, Jeff, I would say we just do it. What was that? I think we should just do the uh, presentation and move That's on. That's right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And we make him, and we make him the library, not the library. We make him the video guy going forward. Since he's not here. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's, That's it. For me. Better do the presentation next month. It doesn't matter. You still gonna get it. Second that. All in favor. Uh, <laughs> we have a new video guy. <laughs> You're all text Paul. him. Congratulations on getting voted to be your new video guy. <laughs> You're all done, Paul. Well, I, I wanted to do it this year because it, it's based on this year. So. That's right. It's, uh, just go ahead and do it, and he'll be embarrassed. That'll be great. Oh, hold on a second. Spotlight yourself. I think I got it. him. Give it. Hello? Hey, man. How you doing? <laughs> you could be in the hair spot. Um, we want you to need to give you something. <clears throat> Just do it while he's on the phone. Okay. Well, I'll do the Baby's, uh, I don't know, getting his hair dyed. He could always watch the recording. What, both of them? <laughs> okay. We'll do it. Well, surprise, that was Matt. And he can't get here in time. So he told me to go ahead and do it. I told him what it was. So anyways, um, we started last year doing member of the year. And that's for the, the, the person who has done the most for the club in the last year. Uh, last year's presentation went to two people because they were very instrumental in the early stages of the club. This year um, at the board meeting, we brought it up. And before I could say anything, almost everybody unanimously said one name and that was Matt Harbour. And uh, we also decided not to go with plaques anymore because that's kind of impersonal. So all of you remember that great uh, workshop Mark did on uh, uh, platters. This is the platter he turned. Then John Dazell with his laser made this. Oh, oh that's neat. So nice. that's this, very is, cool. uh, this is Matt's trophy for being member of the year. Matt we, was always there for us. Uh, in the beginning, the first four days, we had to figure this all out. It was, it, I was bouncing back and forth between Matt and Chuck constantly, uh, right up to the night before we were running tests and everything. Um, and then Matt's always been there when we needed somebody to do, do a uh, workshop or a demo. Oh, there's Matt. Hey, Matt. This is your... This is your... Uh, we don't do trophies anymore. They're impersonal. So this is the, laser etching, the uh, laser etching was done by John Dizel. Mark Wallace made the platter. That's the back of it. Where did where I go? Nice job, Matt. So uh, muted. you're muted, Matt. What's that? So. So anyways, Matt, congratulations. And, and I was also going to say, Matt's also done, uh, has always been there when we needed him for workshops and demos because it's been so hard to get uh, members to volunteer. And Matt just jumps right in. And he comes nice, up. nice haircut too, Matt. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> a haircut. Yeah, it's cold, man. <laughs> hey, Jeff. It's colder now, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Congrats, hey, Matt. Well-deserved. Thank you very, thank you very, very much, everyone. I really appreciate it. I'm, ha I'm happy to be a part of it all, and, and glad to really motivate the club, you know, motivate everybody to get it all together. And, and I'm glad we were. I had a lot of help. Uh, you know, Jeff and, and, and other people were invaluable, um, and we made it happen. So, awesome. It's all good. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm touched. Thank you. Thank you for everything, Matt. I gotta jump in and say something real quick.
I'm a pain in the ass, and I know I am. Who is this? Jay. Jay that's Jay Penfield. <laughs> Jay, let's find him. I'm a pain in the ass, and I know I am. But when I call Matt, it doesn't matter what time of day or night it is. I got a question. He's right there. Answer that phone. Yeah. He's got the answers for me. 24-7. Matt, I love you. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jay. I have also, uh, you know, I've had those nights where my old dog, or morning, so my old dog gets me up at like 6 in the morning, and that's it. I'm up. And, uh, you know, I get on Facebook Messenger, and Matt's up, and he's turning, and he's right there. And, you know, so uh, uh, I'll, I'll chat with him and ask him a lot of questions and everything. Uh, he's just always there. And uh, much appreciated, my friend. Always. Thank you. Thank you. So anyways, that was uh, a very climatic, climatic ending. That's, that's it. Um, thank you for hanging in for this year, everybody. Uh, it's been a wild year, as I said earlier. And I really appreciate you all of, all of you hanging in there and making this club the great club it is. And I look forward to 2021. Who knows what's coming? Uh, I'm not going to guess. And I know I've had a couple people ask me if I know when we're going to get back in PCAC. And the answer is stranger. Yes. No idea. I guess as soon as everybody gets the vaccine, I don't know. Thank you for the, for the, you know, for the shout. What was that? Oh, somebody else had their microphone on. Um, yeah. so anyways, um, just thank you. And, uh, Those so handles look phenomenal. I want to wish everybody a uh, Merry Christmas, a happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, what you whatever your holiday is. Just enjoy it. Enjoy every second minute with your family and your friends and be safe. And we'll see you next year in a brand new year, right here on Zoom. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Hey, Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Stay healthy. Happy hey, Ron, holidays. Hey, Carl, thank you again. Hey, Ron Pullman from... Is, uh, in